All right, so I've already posted a video um, which you can find in, on my channel converting radicals from uh, mixed form to entire form and just making sure we know mixed form means we have number on the outside of the radical and also number on the inside. And entire means all of the number is entirely inside the radical. So one of the things that you need to know how to do is take your mixed radicals, these are three examples of mixed, and turn them into entire. And the way to think about that is you want to move number inside the radical, number inside the radical, number inside the radical. That's the direction of the question. To do that, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is rethink these, these coefficients, these numbers that are outside the radical, as radicals themselves. So I know that 7 can be written as the square root of 49. Do you see? And then, of course, root 2 is just root 2. Don't forget, these are all glued together by multiply. So this is all timesing, so multiplying. And so this is going to be equivalent to, this can be written as one radical. So a little radical times a little radical is one big mama. So here I've got 49 times 2, and then I can just multiply that together, and that gives me the square root of 98. And you can see the, the, the number is entirely under the radical, where the coefficient is actually 1. Okay, And that's how you want to finish your answer. <clears throat> you do not need to put the 1 there, um, but just know the coefficient is 1. So let's take a look at the next one here. Be careful because there's a difference between the index. The index here was 2 for a square root. Notice the index here is 3. This here, 4, is the exponent on a to the 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put brackets here so that you can see that 4 is actually an exponent on 4, on, on the a. <clears throat> so let's bring the a to the 4 inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I want to bring it inside the radical, what I can do is know that I'm bringing it into a square root. So what that means is that number is going to show up two times. Okay. So I'm going to write it as a to the 4 times a to the 4. All right. So a to the 4 times a to the 4 inside is just a to the 4 outside because there's an index of 2 for square root. If that was 3, I'd have to put 3 on the inside. And then I already have the square root of a. Do you see? And again, if the number isn't indicated, the index is 2 for square root. Then I can put them under one radical. So that's a to the 4 times a to the 4 times a, well, a to the 1. a is a to the 1. And now I'm just multiplying powers with the same basis. I just add the exponent. Sorry. Let me talk over that. And so equals the square root of a to the 9. 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9. And that's a nice way to write your final answer. All right, and then the third one, the announcements is, is over. Um, again, the, the direction here is to take the number on the outside and put it on the inside to write it as an entire radical. And in this case, the 3 is the index. So this is cube roots. So we have square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, and so on. And so this 5b on the inside has to show up as a triple. So I'm going to write 5b. Notice it's cube root. So I have to write the 3 there. If it's a square root, you don't have to write it. Cube roots, you have to. So it's going to be 5b times 5b times 5b. OK? And you can see that's equivalent to 5b. The cube root of 5b times 5b times 5b is 5b. And then I also have the cube root of 3b squared. And these are all glued together by times. Now I can write one big cube root. Okay, Some of these steps you exclude, but I'm obviously trying to show you how to do it, so I'm showing all my steps. So I've got, well, I'm going to start combining things here. So I've got, well, maybe I'll leave it. So 5b times 5b times 5b times 3b squared. And now I can just treat the numbers like normal numbers on the inside. So that's equal to the cube root. Well, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 times 3 is 375. And b times b times b is b cubed times b squared is b to the 5. And there's a fine answer.
showing the entire number inside the radical going from mixed to entire radicals. Next video up, we're going to go from entire to mixed, which is the normal way that we do it, also known as simplifying a radical. All right, if you like the video, slap a like on it and subscribe for more math videos. Leave a comment down below if there's kinds of math that you like, because I do teach all levels of math. Bye for now.